Okay, so I saw a bunch of flex fuel sensors on the internet and I thought I'd just go ahead and play around with this Continental uh, sensor. So I've got basically a funnel, goes through here, a little cap on the end, and I'm going to show you basically how this works. So I've got a power supply putting out 12 volts uh, with nothing going on. It basically is running about 70 milliamps, and I've got a capacitor on here for filtering. I've got a pull up resistor of 4.7k ohms, run it into Arduino with some code and your E85. Whoops focus uh, the percentage and uh, temperature I still have to work on the code a little bit on that so I'm going to show you a couple things so what we've got is we've got new uh, oh boy that's easy to focus on um, let's try that again anyway this is isopropyl alcohol from Kroger and so, which is 100% alcohol. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'll dump it in the top of the funnel. And the I'll explain the code here in just a little bit. But 100% alcohol. Dumped in there. Filling up. Goes in there. Reads 100% alcohol. Uh, simple enough. Pull the plug off the bottom of that, drain that alcohol out of there, and then I have some regular pump gas. Dump that in the trash can. And yes, I know this is a diesel can, but it actually has gasoline inside it. So, like I said, there's the ethanol percent. If I could do this without spilling all over, I guess this will be a success. gasoline pump gas and we have 12 percent alcohol there's a little bit of residual left in the line from the isopropyl alcohol but uh, that's about it so the math calculations that I did was from 50 Hertz to 150 Hertz take the frequency of that and add 50 and that gives me the percentage of alcohol and then there's a mathematical calculation for the temperature, which is minus 114 to, uh, times the pulse width, minus 74.25 gives me the actual temperature. But anyway, i got to work on the code on that. But that's basically 11% gas, uh, basically simple pump gas. So that's how it works, and it reads pretty accurate. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output from there, make it a pulse width modulated, Use a capacitor resistor, and then I'll be able to run 0 to 5 volts and calculate it all out so that I would be able to run that into, say, like the oh, AC pressure input on a 411 PCM, and I can read E85% directly onto my data logger. So, anyway, that's 11%. I'll go ahead and pull this off there, drain that gasoline out of there, and you'll see it immediately goes back to zero. So, pretty cool.